Hello, in this AWS uh, developing knowledge check series, uh, I wish to demonstrate about this uh, module 2 uh, of knowledge check. So, this uh, knowledge check contains approximately around uh, 10 questions where you need to score at least 80% uh, of uh, these things. Uh, please remember these questions are very important for your exam preparation in especially when you use development uh, associate. So what I suggest is that please do these questions carefully and understand. You must secure at least 70% of higher to complete this uh, knowledge. Okay, but you have unlimited chances. So let me start. The first question. The system's development life cycle STLC has six phases. The first three phases are plan, define and design. What are the last three phases of STLC? It is develop, deploy, and maintain. So this is uh, the first answer. Correct. And the second one, which task is performed during the develop stage of systems development lifecycle? That is, uh, new components are obtained and installed. Yes, this should be the correct answer. Third one. A system administrator must grant a new developer permissions that are associated with the developer role. The role is associated with the developer group. Which AWS service should the administrator use to assign the new developer to the developer group? This is absolutely IAM, that is AWS Identity and Access Management, that is D. Okay, this is correct. The fourth one. A developer is setting up the development environment. They need an integrated development environment IDE that enables them to code with the other people in real time. Which AWS service should they use? It is Cloud9. Okay, Cloud9 is a cloud based IDE that enables use integrated. Development environment uses to write, run, and debug the code by using a browser. Okay. This is the fifth one. What are the three ways to interact with AWS service application programming interfaces? Select the three. Uh, I can say that CLI is one of them, SDK is one of them, and of course the console. These are the three ways we can uh, interact with AWS resources. Okay. The sixth one. Which tools enable users to control their AWS services from the command line and automate service management with scripts? This is the sixth question. Uh, you have this uh, PowerShell, yes, I take this, and of course, you have this uh, uh, Amplify and uh, the third one should be this uh, serverless application application model I think this is the one okay so it's not cloud nine or it's not open. let me check yes this is correct the seventh one the service uh, client application programming interface provides a lower level of abstraction than the higher level calls that are made up of uh, resource APIs. This is true. Yeah. Eighth one. Which statements describe AWS uh, resource application programming interfaces APIs? That is uh, uh, select two. So so uh, this answer should be they provide a higher level abstraction than the low level calls made by uh, service level clients. Uh, they provide a lower uh, level abstraction than uh, uh, the calls made by, I think uh, this is the one. Uh, and of course, the second one should be, uh, they provide access to resources through objects and collections. Okay. Yes, this is correct. And uh, ninth one, a developer is using the AWS software uh, development kit SDK for Python Motor 3. 
and must specify the region. Which method enables the developer to specify the region? Oh, yeah, you can see this uh, by by setting the region when they uh, instantiate uh, the service plant. Okay, and the last one. A developer makes an application programming interface API called to access an Amazon S3 bucket that doesn't exist. Which HTTP response code that the developer received from the AWS service? It is 400 series. Yep. Okay. So we have completed all 10 and then our score is 100%. Congratulations. Okay. We will again uh, get into the module 3. Thank you. Bye.